All right, so the next part of a story is a rising action. And the rising action begins to happen when the character starts to get what they want or they start losing what they have. <laughs> um, and any story is based off tension. The more tension you have in a story, the better. It's better to make the character work for it than just give them what they want. Um, one of my mentors, um, she always said, you have to put your character in a tree and throw rocks at it. You have to make things hard for a character. And I think that makes your story more organic and believable for the most part, unless you're being way overdoing it. But you do want to make things challenging for your character. And so the rising action of a story happens when the character starts to get what they want. Or they start moving closer towards what they're aiming for what they desire. So in a love story, they, they meet this, this person and they fall, fall in love and, and maybe they have a conversation, it's super awkward, and then they work it out, they go out on a date, and then they, you know, they're getting closer to what they want in the story to fall in love, right? Um, in a Batman movie, it's when Batman first meets a Joker and they have a little fight and nobody wins. And then that creates a tension. And you know that something's going to happen between these two characters way down the road. Or a story, they say in a screenplay, if, if there's a gun in the book and nothing happens with that gun for 30 pages, you, you're lost. So just having a gun in a book creates that tension, creates that character development. If that gun's going to go off, it's going to hurt somebody, or something's going to happen. But creating the tension is moving the character towards what they're aiming for. Does that make sense? Or it could be a sense of loss. Maybe they have everything and they're starting to lose it all. The Wolf of Wall Street, right? And you either understand either they're going to get it or they're not going to get it. But that's a conflict. And to write a good story, you have to have conflict, in my opinion. That's what keeps people turning pages, the conflict. It's also what people relate to. People don't like perfect characters. Superman, I've heard this said by many times. I was just listening to, to a master class with Judd Apatow. And he said that Superman, Superman without a flaw is a boring character. Nobody wants to read about a perfect character. But Superman and Kryptonite, you know, now he has a weakness. And that empowered the story. So introducing Kryptonite shows that the person has a weakness. And something's going to come about with this Kryptonite. They're either going to overcome it or work through it or it's going to destroy them. But that would be the character development when those ideas are introduced in the story. I hope this helps.